Is jealousy always a sin? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you guys about jealousy and what it means to be jealous and what we should do instead. So there's pretty much two different kinds of jealousy. On the one hand, you can be jealous of something or someone, and on the other hand, you can be jealous for something or someone. To be jealous of something or someone means to like wish that you had what someone else has, right? It's like envy or coveting. One of the Ten Commandments says thou shalt not covet. And that basically means like you're looking at, at something that someone else has and you, you wish it was yours. And coveting, jealousy, envy, this feeling is, is a sin in and of itself, but, but it leads to so many other sins. And it comes from a, like a deep selfishness. You don't care about other people, you just care about yourself. And you're not grateful for what you have, you just want what other people have. That, that is, that's wrong, very wrong. So if you're jealous of something, you want something that someone else has. And it could be, it could be stuff, you know, like stuff that you could steal, but it could also just be like position or even like their looks. It could be, it could be all kinds of things. You know, you'd say, I, I'm jealous of how popular that person is, or I'm jealous of how, how good looking that person is, or I'm jealous of how successful that person is. Those are things that you can't like steal from them, but you can still covet them. And it still shows like a, an ungrateful selfishness in your heart. It's wrong. And so you can be selfish of something or someone, or you could also be selfish for something or someone. And this one is tricky. It's interesting. It's kind of hard to understand. And it's hard to understand because when you're jealous for something or someone, you're not jealous of something that belongs to someone else. You're jealous for something or someone that belongs to you. And this kind of jealousy can also be very selfish and, and it can be very like possessive, you know, not generous. You can be like, that's mine. So like there was this one time where I had a friend from church, he came over to play and it was awesome. And we, we were playing outside. And then one of my friends from my neighborhood, he also came over and I thought, this is great. You know, one of my friends from church and one of my friends from my neighborhood, they're, they're going to be friends too. We're all going to be friends together. This is awesome. And it was awesome. It was, it was really good. But then after a while, I kind of started to get like mad because they were really getting along. And I, I was literally mad at both of them. And I didn't say this out loud, but I was feeling like, hey, you're supposed to be my friends. You're not supposed to be each other's friends. And I think that deep down inside that that kind of came from a feeling of like, you know, if they become friends, they're, they're just going to hang out with each other and not me. And like we can be we can be jealous for our friends or jealous for our family, but we can also be jealous for like our stuff. Have you ever had one of those times where you like shared one of your toys with someone, you know, maybe a younger kid and and after they were playing with it for a while, you kind of looked at them like, that's mine. Give that back. You know, like you, you offered it to him in the first place, but then after a while you kind of started to feel like like possessive of it. Like, I want that. It's mine. So it's not like you were being jealous of something that belonged to someone else. You were jealous for your thing. And so on the one hand, like I said, you, you can be jealous of something that someone else has. And in that instance, God wants us to be thankful for what we have. Instead of being jealous of what other people have, we should be thankful for what we have. And if you're jealous for something that you have, for the most part, God does not want us to be selfish in this way. He wants us to, to be generous. He wants us to share. And now just I've just finished telling you about jealousy and how it's this, you know, terrible sin. But here's something weird. Here's something really interesting. Did you know that God is jealous? Very jealous. In fact, there's even a verse in the Bible where, where it says that God's name is jealous. When I first read that, I was like, what in the world? This is, this is weird. God doesn't sin. God does not sin. He really doesn't sin. So how, how can he be jealous? Well, you know how I said there's the two kinds of jealousy? Like you can be jealous of something or someone, or you can be jealous for something or someone. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense for God to be jealous of anything or anyone because he's, he's God, right? There's nothing at all, no thing in all of creation that God can't have right? And rightly so. Like he would never say, oh man, that's a really cool bike. I wish I had a bike like that. No, he could just make a bike, right? He made a universe. He made everything we've ever seen and so, so much more. So no, he's not jealous of anything or anyone, but he is very, very jealous for us. We are his. We belong to him. And, you know, I talked about how, how a lot of times being jealous for someone can be a bad thing. 
Like, you know, the way I was feeling mad at my friends for, you know, being friends, that was, that was wrong of me. I should not have felt that way. I should be generous with my friends, not try to like hoard them for myself. But there are some times where, where you really should not be generous at all. So the example that I can think of is like, well, my mom and dad. So my parents are married and that, that means that they basically belong to each other. And so like in some ways, my dad is supposed to be generous with my mom. You know, he's supposed to share her in some ways, right? You know, it wouldn't be cool for him to be like, I never want you to go out and and hang out with your friends ever again because you're my wife now and now you can only ever hang out with me. Don't talk to anybody but me, ever. That's not cool and that's definitely not the way my dad is. And it wouldn't be cool for him to be like, hey, you know, you're, you're taking care of the kids and I think you should just forget about the kids and only take care of me. That's not cool either and that's also not the way my dad is. Right? It's good for my mom to take care of us. And it's good for my mom to go, you know, shine the light of Jesus Christ in the world and not, not just in our home. But there are some times where my dad should not be generous at all. Like if my dad saw some other guy kiss my mom, it would not be cool for him to be like, oh yes, good, I'll be generous. It's important for me to share. No, no, that's, that's not good at all. And you better believe that's not how my dad would act. He'd be like, how dare you? That's my wife. And there, there'd probably be a fight. Right? In that way, it'd be very good for my dad to be possessive. It'd be very good for my dad to not share. And it kind of goes for us too, like me and my brother, his kids. Like if he saw somebody, if he saw somebody, you know, beating us up, he'd be like, how dare you? Those are my boys. You know, he'd, he'd be very possessive of us in a very good way, very jealous for us. And you know, if my dad got mad that some guy was kissing my mom, it wouldn't be like jealous of that guy. And it's not like he's saying, you know, I wish I was kissing my wife instead of that guy kissing my wife. No, it's like, it's just, that's my wife. And it's the same as like, you know, if he saw somebody beating me and my brother up, he wouldn't be like, you know, how dare you? I wish I was beating up my kids, which he does not at all do. It's not that he wants what that other guy has or what the other guy is doing. It's that he wants us. He loves us. He's very possessive of us. And that's the way God is with all of us. We all belong to him. And God's jealousy for us is a very, very, good thing. When we're jealous, it's usually bad. Not always, but I would say usually. It usually comes from like a a place of selfishness or insecurity. But with God, his jealousy comes from a place of love and goodness. He wants what's best for us. And what's best for us is him. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would would not be jealous, especially not be jealous of other people and what other people have, and that you would be grateful for what you have. And I also challenge you to not be jealous for what you have or who you have in a bad way. In all the ways that are good, we should be generous with what's ours. Our friends, our family, our things, and only be jealous for our loved ones in a way that is good. And let's thank God for being a jealous God. Let's thank God for for looking out for us and wanting what's best for us. And let's do our best to live for him. Jealousy is often wrong, but I am so glad that we serve a jealous God. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. And yeah, jealousy is kind of tricky because it's often bad, but God is jealous. And that was the first time I found that. It, it really did just weird me right out because God never sins. And jealousy is, you know, pretty much every time I've ever heard of jealousy, it's a wrong, bad thing. And I think that for the most part it is, but sometimes it's good. And all the time that God is jealous, it is good. So let's work on being grateful for what is ours and, and being generous with what is ours in all the good ways. And let's thank God for being such a jealous God.